a lot of people look down on you when they find out you're doing online dating and they usually question you. They're like, why? Why are you doing this? I never told my mom. <laughs> my mom still seemed to be a little bit upset that that's how I had met them. I guess because it hadn't been natural. But in general, people are fine. And we, we, we know a lot of people who met online too. There are definitely regional attitudes toward online dating. In New York, it's very great. I don't know how it works everywhere else. My friends in Alabama kind of seem sad for me. In New York, and you know, it became like a Instagram, like Facebook, like a part of your profile, something that you have. It's become the Facebook of, of, of dating. Things start in big cities and start in more populated areas and then filter down to the smaller places. So you literally see the people that you actually like see on the website. My friend's apartment, they both met their girlfriends uh, on OkCupid, so it's like an OkCupid apartment. When you're walking down the street, you'll be like, didn't I message that person two days ago? Or wasn't that that person that said that I was an asshole or something like that? More and more you find out that everyone's doing it regardless of job or level of attraction. By us meeting online, my good friend met her friend and they're, they're the ones getting married. We're like the ones that introduced them through it. And I do think it's, it's going to lose the stigma. Where, where it still has a stigma, it will lose that. Most people who I work with, a lot of friends, a lot of friends of friends. And I really don't see a stigma anymore. I know very few people who were born and raised in Manhattan and so people are really eager here to make new friends.
from the beginning I started getting messages that were like really weird. I was like, oh my god, what the hell is this? <laughs> what am I doing here? Don't try to have long messages because then again you could say one little thing that's weird. If they were well written in their messages, I would respond. For guys, not women, guys copy paste. It works. I will first say that I absolutely believe in online dating. A lot of it has a bad rep. I completely believe in online dating, but there is something really special about meeting someone organically. 
and having that spark and not knowing too much about them and getting to know them and that the specialness that comes from that is a little bit it's lacking when you meet someone online because instead of asking about what they do you say oh well I know you're an analyst at Credit Suisse instead of saying that you get to ask them more questions more digging questions about what they do and there can actually be a conversation from it rather than just spewing out their resume to them when you go on dates um, looking back on the two relationships I got into the more serious relationships that I got into from online sites I wonder were my feelings a little bit manufactured did I did I add feelings that I maybe wouldn't have had if I'd met them in real life at a bar or at an event or through friends um, and I would like to say that no I would hope that I wouldn't have been making that up on my own um, but it is a concern of mine. You get to meet more people that you actually are in tune with and have more in common with in Cupid than going out and just meeting random people because everybody's fake when, the, when you first meet them. You know, it's just like everybody has this like false sense of, oh yeah, this is who I am when it's really not. You know, like at least on Cupid you could talk for like days, hours, even like weeks and then you finally meet, like you already know most of the person because you already spent time messaging, texting, emailing or being on the phone with them before you actually met them.